Everybody thinks I'm Superman. And it would have been very easy to write a book about the hero. I had to tell him where I came from to give people hope that, wow, that's where he came from? He came from all these f***ed up obstacles and now he's there? You have to make mistakes. You've been there, you feel it, you understand what it is, and then you have that time to adjust. That's why losing in life is so important. Loss, those feelings where things didn't work out your way, that's important because it lets you know this is the bad feeling that comes when it goes wrong and you improve and then it makes the good feelings of victory all the better making a terrible book that gets rejected by every publisher and then writing a really good one and people accept it and you're like, fuck, I got better. Yes! It's hard for people to gravitate towards challenge. But through challenge, you get the greatest reward. It's the rare person whose mind gravitates towards the reward of accomplishment. The reward of pushing yourself through a very, very difficult circumstance, very difficult challenge to get to that feeling of accomplishment like you get when you get to the top of the mountain, when you're pushing, when you don't want to. And you get to it and you did it. And you know that you overcome this weakness inside of you that wants you to quit, that everybody experiences at some point in their life. And it's a matter of how you react to that experience and how you react to that, that pull. The pull towards the bed is strong pull towards weakness is strong because it's so easy to do it's so easy to quit it's easy to quit society today is e too easy i believe i think that's kind of the draw for me to pushing myself the way i do physically mentally i don't like if something's easy i'm not attracted to it i want it to be hard i want it to be difficult unless i'm beat down or tired or whatever i don't feel like i I achieved what I needed to achieve that day. Through failure, you get all the answers. So I was able to go back through and say, okay, this happened, this happened, this was wrong, this was wrong, this is wrong. So I don't even look at failure like, I don't even call it failure. I don't because I don't look at it like, oh my God, I failed. Anything you do along that way is amazing. You cannot look at it as failure. Even though you didn't get what you wanted, all you're doing is examining ways to become successful at this particular thing. You're trying to master something. It's not failure. You're trying to become the master of a particular thing. It's not failing. Whenever you're trying to master something, there's a process. Contrary to popular belief, nobody has a clear cut winning path that is free of resistance and failure all the way to the top of the mountain. We all have failures. We all experience it. Our problem is we don't see the failures in others. We see some at the top of the business world and we don't wonder how many times they failed a company before quote unquote making it big. Thomas Edison he tried 10,000 times before he got his light bulb to light up the first time, and that invention changed the course of the world. Dr. Seuss, another guy you all know, was rejected by 27 different publishers. J.K. Rowling started on Harry Potter as an unemployed, recently divorced single mother. None of these stories experienced success the minute they decided to try to do something. But instead of what most people do and quit, they kept at it. By you thinking that you're going to go out and execute on this play the first time you run it and it's going to score a touchdown is arrogant. People spend their whole lives becoming skilled at what they do to think that you're going to open up whatever the path is that you're trying to be on and just jump on it this is why i respect people that try people that are willing to go out and do what it is they want to do even though they know they're going to be bad at it these people are going to build confidence they're going to earn some self-respect and eventually 
they'll have failed so many times and gotten used to getting up and brushing it off and laughing at it that they're going to look back and say, hey, the whole reason I'm here is because I had the balls to look like an idiot. The fear of failure is something that comes like a force around you that's instilled by society. Look at a kid learning to walk. You don't watch them take their first steps, fall down, and then say, man, you know what? Screw this. I, I'm just going to crawl around the rest of my life. This lesson is the ultimate lesson for you to learn. You just forget it. Why do we lose this? Why do we forget this? Why did you forget this? If you continue to try, you'll have success. You have to realize that failure is a scenario to learn from. Part of succeeding and part of getting where you want to be is figuring out what doesn't work. It's a natural part of the process. And knowing what not to do is just as important as knowing what to do. You can only learn what not to do if you're willing to try and you're willing to fail. You have to make it a definitive moment. You have to understand that that definitive moment has passed you by. You have to immediately look towards the future and start moving forward again. You cannot dwell on your failures. You need to look back and figure out what it is you need to learn from them. You're going to get punched in the face. What did you learn from it? These are the things that you have to understand because if you don't get up and take the lessons from every... that you get in life and continue to move forward, those ass kickings that you get were for nothing. You have to look at failures as unavoidable. They're part of the process. That's just the way it is. They're gonna happen and they're gonna happen to you and they're gonna happen a lot. All you have to do is figure out why it happened and avoid that fucking pothole the next time you walk by it. You've got to view failure as part of the equation. It is part of the success equation. You have to see it as part of the process. If you look at it like an inevitable step that you have to take, it's going to be that much easier to pick up and move on when you get those stings, when you get those setbacks, when you hit those roadblocks. You just have to understand it is what the fuck it is. Each... time you start something new you have to understand that you are going to fail not just once not just twice but likely dozens of times over the course of your life 
And the difference between people who make it and people who don't is how much of this shit they're willing to put up with. Everyone wants to find the foolproof plan. And I'm just going to tell you, man, there is no fail safe. There's no surefire way to get to where you want to go with no pain. That's just reality. Failure is unavoidable. Failure is a teaching moment and a learning moment. And failure is absolutely 100% part of the process. It's not the part of the process that everybody brags about on Instagram. It's not the part of the process that everybody beats their chest about on Friday night when you're drinking. beers with your boys no one brags about it but you know what maybe they should because the more you fail and the more you move forward the more you're going to succeed 